Go RV Camping Cuisine is brought to you by Thetford Australia. Feel at home on the road with cooking appliances from Thetford. G'day and welcome to another episode of Go RV's Camping Cuisine. I'm down here in Bayswater at Canterbury Caravans by the busy Dorset Road. I'm in this Viscount Wild Shark and I've got a great sweet treat that's going to warm your heart up. It's a chocolate brownie. Who doesn't like a chocolate brownie? Now I'll be cooking that chocolate brownie on this amazing Thetford combo. So guys, come with me and let's get cracking. It's a very simple recipe. It only requires six ingredients. Now I've got to do it justice. My daughter's been cooking this since she was 12 years old. Now what we've got here is some plain flour, some caster sugar, some unsweetened cocoa powder. I've got some marshmallows. I have cheated and preheated some butter and I've got a couple of eggs there. So what I'll do, I'm going to start off with the dries. Now for that, I'm going to need one mixing bowl. Get our plain flour in first. Half a cup of plain flour. One cup of caster sugar. A third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And we're gonna whisk that up. It's such a simple recipe, there's really not much to it at all. So we get that until it's a nice even texture. That's how dry is done. Now in this bowl, we crack our two eggs. Now like I said, I pre-melted this butter earlier. We need half a cup. And we'll give that a whisk up. And once again, you want to whisk it so it's a nice even consistency. Get all that butter and egg as one. Now at this stage, I'm going to move over to the Fetford oven and I'm going to fire that up. We want the oven preheated to about 180 degrees. Now the oven's on, it's getting pretty, quite warm in there. Now I'm going to butter up our pan. Now a little tip, a little tip or trick. Now the other half of the butter block is a really good way to grease a pan and keeping your fingers clean. I'm going to move our pan over here. And what we'll do is we're going to mix the egg with our dries. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the whisk down and I'm going to scoop all that egg out. Now all we want to do is just fold it. Just give it a bit of a mix. Now at this point here, I'd like to add our marshmallows. I'm going to add roughly about a handful, half a cup of marshmallows. I've always been a bit of a softie for marshmallows. Marshmallows are a bit of a fun touch to this brownie mix. Now seriously guys, it doesn't get any easier. This literally took me a couple of minutes. The nice texture, we add this to the pan, whack it in the oven and enjoy. Now we'll add this mixture to our pan. a nice dense texture. It's not too dry but what we want to do is we want to pat that down evenly through that pan. Try to get a nice even layer. Now it's time to put this pan in the oven. Now this should literally take us 15 maybe 20 minutes. are now baking, I'm going to tidy up. Now as you can see, I've got virtually no mess to clean up. It's a great dish, it's simple. I just hope I've done my daughter proud. I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. Thanks to this amazing oven in this Thetford combo, it's really cooking evenly. It's exactly the way I want it. I just got the toothpick. I'm going to check to make sure that's not soft and gooey inside. Now I can see it's still soft and gooey inside, so it needs a little bit more time. I can see it's risen a bit higher, and it smells great. Oh, absolutely, that's cooked to perfection. Look at that, nice and crispy on top, just the way I like it. I'm going to plate some up. I'm going to take a small section out. 
Look at that. That's what I call a chocolate brownie. As you can see, I'm going for some nice, generous servings here. Now to complement these brownies, I've got some ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream with their brownies? Got some lovely vanilla ice cream. There you have it, 15 minutes in the Thetford oven, our brownies are looking great. Now for my taste tester. I'll grab a spoon for her, we'll find out what she thinks. The brownies are ready, we've got some ice cream in there. The ice cream can't the melt already, so get cracking to hook into it now. Mmm. Now that crisp on the top. Yeah. It's so soft and crispy on top. The ice cream's melting across it, it's absolutely delicious. Thanks to our mates at Thetford, it's another go of eat camping cuisine success story. For the recipe, check it out on the website. I'll see you out there. It's not bad, is it? Mmm. It needs an ice cream. It's really good.